All right, guys, today we are going to reload the bump head on a Shindaiwa 242 weed eater. Um, this guy's got string in his. I just wanted to do a video because I haven't got one of these out yet. So uh, let me set up my camera. All right, so this is a speed feed bump head. Um, he's, it looks like he's got uh, 095 Echo line in there. I use a uh, Hypa uh, uh, line. It's it's better and and not and a lot cheaper too but uh it's a much better line it's got an inner core on it um and it's the smooth round stuff i use the smooth round stuff so you see i just push these tabs down see they, here's these tabs i just pushed them down and pop this out um oh look he's out of line too just in time so i'm just taking this apart just enough just to get this line out so there, lines out, putting it right back together. All right, put this back in, like so. Click it down all the way. Now there's uh, arrows on the sides. Let's see how this is raised a little bit. See right there? That arrow needs to line up with the hole. And if you line it up with the hole properly, you can see right through to the other side. And that's what you want. Hold on, let me get some line. So this is the line I use, HIP8, HIPA, high quality parts is what it stands for. But see, it's got an inner core in it. It's 095 and it's got an inner core. And it's the smooth round stuff, so it doesn't get stuck in your line, but it's got that inner core. That really, really helps a lot with it lasting longer and it gives a nice clean cut. Um, so I'm going to pull out two arm lengths of this line here. Maybe. It's got a little tingle. She's a little tingled up. Hold on. Alright. Two arm lengths of this. Um, go a little longer. Not a big deal. Um, and I cut the line at an angle. I'll show you that here in a second. So I cut it in an angle so it's sharp point. And then we're gonna stick it through, all the way through the other side. Whoops, all right, all the way through. And then we're gonna keep pulling it through until we get both sides lined up. So we're just gonna pull all the way through, all right, until they're both lined up. Then we're gonna hold this piece and we're gonna turn this ring here. And just keep turning it. Until all that line gets all the way up in there. And that's how it wraps up on the speed feed heads. These are the best heads. This is the smaller, they make a bigger one that holds a lot more line. You can do like four arm lengths or something like that in it. And those are really nice because they're heavier so they act like a flywheel it doesn't lose the rpms as easy so you get a really nice clean even cut oh see now i went too far this one got short <laughs> i'm just going to push it in and go the opposite way it's like we're bump head and feeding it and then uh i guess i didn't line it up as good as i thought i was There, we got it out. Then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and line up the two ends to where they're the same length. I'm gonna cut off the extra line. That way it's the same length. And that's it. It's all done, guys. That's simple. All right, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll put this line in the description below. Peace.